Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here to share with you my new sewing machine I just got. Uh, the reason I want to show it to you is because there's some things that I think are helpful to people, especially if you're in the market for a sewing machine and you're not quite sure what you want to get. I'll tell you why I chose this particular model. So I um, was shopping around for a sewing machine. I went all around YouTube looking at different people who sew on their projects and what they're using. And I found that everyone was using a Brother Project Runway. Um, so I had decided, you know, I'm going to go ahead and order that. So I did. And while I was waiting for it to be delivered, I started looking at videos on how to use the machine so I would know when it came here, you know, what to do. Well, when it uh, when I was looking at those videos, I stumbled across the video for this particular model, only at the time it was SQ9185. So I started looking and I came across it and I watched uh, videos and I'm going, oh my gosh, this one has some features I really like more than the Project Runway. So I went back when that machine came in, I took it back where I got it and then I reordered this particular model. I got these at Walmart. The Project Runway was $145 free shipping and then this one was $199 with free shipping. I felt like for the price difference, I should just jump right in and get the one I wanted and not try the other one and hope I liked it and be sorry I didn't get this one and then have to make the purchase all over again. So let me kind of walk you through it. I'm gonna to try to show you the best I can. You know you need all kind of camera angles. I'm not good at all that. So I'll just do the best I can, bear with me, and I'll show you some of the things that I made me decide to buy this particular model. So here she is, She's so pretty. Um, I do have a Singer. Um, the problem with my Singer, it's a, a smaller machine. It was a low price point. It, um, it does the basics. It does a few things, but I have a lot of issues with it. And um, sewing machines have come a long way since before. Um, There's so many features on them now that are just so uh, much better. So when I open this up, I'm going to kind of show you a few things that were here. Uh, this came with a, oops, sorry. This came with a bag of tools, I guess, that you need when you work on the machine to clean it out. Some more sewing spool covers, presser foots, things like that. It came with the foot pedal, which is right here. It's a really nice, good-sized uh, foot pedal as well. It came with all of your instruction manuals, which are, you know, standard. And then it came with this platform. Because this is a quilting sewing machine, it has this huge platform that you can replace out for what's here so that you can do larger projects like a quilt. In our case, however, we do paper projects, so I think having a nice big platform for bigger sewing projects would be great as well. So basically what happens is with this, I'm going to move that off to the side and just show you. This piece right here comes off, and that's where you would replace the um, platform. This here houses a little, if you open it up, it has a little packet inside, and inside of this packet, you get um, some additional needles, uh, you get uh, extra bobbins, you get a ton of different um, feet to use in your sewing machine, and it stores away nicely in this little pouch right here. <clears throat> the benefit of having this also be removable is if you are a seamstress, <clears throat> excuse me, you can slide um, shirt sleeves, pant legs over this piece right here without either platform on it. When you want to use the other platform and the same with this one, you basically just slide it on and there you go. It's snapped into place. All right, let's talk about why I like this machine so much better than the Project One Ray. There are so many good features. So the Project Runway comes with 100 stitches, which is what you see right here. This one came with more stitches, another 49 stitches. It also came with, if you lift this up here, this is alphabets and numbers that you can't see. I can't move my camera or it'll get 
crazy. But these are all the other things that you get with this machine. That was one feature, but not the most important. So let me talk to you really quickly about the parts of this machine. You have your, your presser foot drop feed right here. And mine used to be in the back, so I was just reaching in the back. But this one's right here. That causes your pressure foot to go up and down. The best part, and one of the important parts, and this is on the Project Runway as well, it has an automatic needle threader. I should get it from the side right here. You push this down, and once you watch the DVD, because it does come with a DVD, if you watch it, it shows how to do this, and it's so easy. And for those of you who struggle with eyesight, especially when it comes to threading a tiny hole in the needle, this is like gold, and it works perfectly. Every time, the first time, I love it. The other feature that this has right here, and I know you can't see this too well. Let me see if I can tilt it. I have a cardboard holding it up, but right here is the bobbin. My bobbin on my machine is faced where the front is down here. It's not up here. And this bobbin is so easy to wind. Once it's in here, you drop it in, you follow this little guide right here, you cut off the string, and it automatically just does what the bobbin needs to do, which is so helpful when you're not a seamstress like me. <laughs> I just have to learn by, as I go. I think the last time I had any kind of sewing class was in high school. So anyhow, that's one of the features. Um, this is your, uh, up here, your, uh, this is where you put your thread and then also your bobbin winder. And again, that explains on the DVD how to do this really easily. Um, it's super, super easy to wind a bobbin. Uh, it has your tension control. It has this little area right here, which um, helps you with your particular different stitches that you're doing. And it has a digital display screen. Your off and on switch is here at the side, so I'll just turn it on so that digital display will come on. And you see here, you have on the top your stitch length, and over the next one down is your stitch width. There are numbers here, and that will be so you could choose what pattern you want to have the machine do for you. And then right up here, there's a J. I know you probably can't see it, but that tells you which pressure foot you're going to need for each particular stitch that you choose to do. If you just wanted straight stitch, you keep the foot on that came with it, and you just use it for that. And it'll explain to you which um, feet go with which stitch. So... I was hearing that the best tension to leave it on is somewhere between three and four, so I'm going to always leave that there. Uh, the other thing that this has is um, the old-fashioned sewing machines, when you try to change a foot on a sewing machine, you had a little screw and you had to unscrew it and hook that one up in there. This one, you press a button, the presser foot drops off, you put the new one there, you put this foot down like this on the side your pressure foot and then it picks up the new one and it's so easy like so easy I haven't gone over my favorite and reason why I chose this machine is because it has automatic sewing which means you do not need to use the foot pedal for me that's a game changer because sometimes when you're sewing if your foot is not steady on your pedal you can go fast you can go slow it's it's just a pain for me. Might not be for you, but for me it is. So this is what is uh, auto sew. You have your speed adjustment, which is low to high, which is also really good because if you're sewing, let's say a piece of chipboard and you want to sew around the edges and you, you know, you don't want your sewing machine going so fast if you're not used to it and you can't turn your piece. So this helps you with the speed, which is amazing. Um, this is your reverse, so you can back stitch, and this raises up your needle every time so you don't have to turn over here to raise your needle when you're done. It is like the best ever. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how some of the stitches look. I did do some um, on, I didn't have some material when this came in. I only had some black felt, but I decided to try it on the felt, and I want to you to see how they came out. Now, mind you, I'm not... I'm just learning, so these are my first attempts. But here you can see some of the beautiful stitches that I was able to achieve with this with hardly any effort whatsoever. 
Um, right in here, I was actually with these three, I was testing this particular stitch. I thought it was the this one, but it wasn't. It was different, so I couldn't make it. I said, why isn't this looking like a snowflake? But I found out because there's another stitch on there that is a snowflake. So there are, like I said, there are so many patterns in here, so many different things you can um, do with this as far as the sewing stitches. So now you're asking, okay, well, but yeah, I'm going to use it on paper. How did it do? I actually think it did better on paper than it did on that felt. So here's my samples for the paper. And look, I was even able to spell out my name right there because it has the alphabet stitching up there. It also, um, I think I was looking at a video on YouTube that showed how to get them larger because apparently that's something that you can, um, need to do is get them larger it'll show you how to do that but um again and i think right here i messed up because my my thread got stuck under and i yanked it when it was sewing i shouldn't have done that <laughs> so anyhow but look at how beautiful they are on paper it's absolutely stunning i cannot wait to start using this machine on my projects and um, i need to practice my sewing because i'm not that great oh and one of the other features that i did like about this is you can totally remove um, the pressure foot and you can sew freestyle, which means if you wanted to do a squiggly line, you just put it in there and you can move your paper however you want and it'll let you do that. It lets you sew. So I'm going to try to show you just one stitch, how easy this works with hands-free, no pedal, no foot pedal. But I'm going to try to do one just so you can get an idea. So it suggests to put your material in, lower your pressure foot. It does ask you to drop the needle down into the project that you're going to do just get it started and there's a lot of other tips they give you along the way that you need to pay attention to like um, when you're selecting one of these stitches if um, if you want them wide you have to test by hand moving your needle to make sure that the needle will fit within the range of that presser foot so that it doesn't break your needle hitting the metal part so though it gives you all those tips when you're um, doing what you're doing. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select one of these. Let's just say, um, let's do, let's do something simple. I'm going to take this one. I've already done this one. This is number 81. So I'm simply going to come here and I'm going to use the plus sign to add this to be an eight. And I'm going to make this a one. And now it's telling me pressure foot N, which I already have in there. And then basically all you're going to do to get it started, I'm going to make sure this is on a slower speed. I don't want it to go too fast. I'm going to press this start button and watch. Automatically, it just starts doing what it's doing. Now say I wanted to go a little faster. I definitely could go a little faster by moving that. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to let it go a little bit so I can get a few stitches just to show you. But see, I'm not really holding anything. I'm just letting the machine do the work. It's um, awesome. A little bit more. And then when you're ready to stop it, you simply press this. Your needle ends up in that down position. You press this to lift up your needle. You lift up your pressure foot right here. Pull out your paper and I think I moved my paper in the beginning, so it's going to come a little squiggly, but it'll give you the idea anyway. Like I said, I'm not the best seamstress, but there you go. That's the one I just did right now, and look how cute that is. So yeah, this is like a great machine as far as I can tell right now. Hopefully, as I get to use it, I'll be more familiar with how to get it to work, and once I learn how to sew better, <laughs> I'll help too. But anyhow, I did want to share it. <clears throat> In case you were thinking about a sewing machine, maybe Christmas is coming up and you want to look at one, check it out and see what you like about it before you make a purchase. Of course, this is just my opinion. It's not official. <laughs> so there's the model number again, if you're looking. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, do what makes you happy. Bye for now.